I want to be able to shorten the project's finish date as you can see over here in the Gantt chart the milestone there of October the 6th I want to shorten it bring it up a couple of days like October the 5th or 4th and I'm going to do that by assigning additional resources to a task that's on the critical path when I shorten that task duration everything else in that critical path is going to be affected and moved up including the project's finish date now if you haven't watched the training video on critical path you want to watch that so you understand what I'm talking about here in fact let's go to another view so I can spot that critical path remember the critical path is going to be formatted in red and it's not in this view I have to come over here and right click on the collapse view bar go down to more views and it's the detail Gantt double click on it and there it is so again if I make any changes to the duration of one of these tasks along the critical path I'm going to affect the project's finish date here so how am I going to affect it is I'm going to go ahead and assign a resource to one of these tasks here along the critical path and because it's effort driven it ought to cut the work of the resource in half for example proofread that's going to be five days if I recall in fact you can come over here and hover over it and it'll tell you how long it's going to of course mine's not going to pop up here but for a second but it's five days now you can assign the resource here or you can go back to the Gantt chart now that I know where my critical path is at and right click on the collapse view bar go back to the Gantt chart select the proofread task come up here click on the two dudes assign resources and then I'm going to scroll down and assign the second resource the editor now you can see it's at five days right click assign close out and it cuts the task in half the duration from five to two and a half days and because it's along the critical path it moved all the other tasks up a couple of days and it also moved up the project's finish date from October the 6th to October the 2nd four days that's awesome now you notice over here I got a little smart icon smart tag click on the drop down arrow and it says okay you've added a new resource to the task is it because you want it the default here to reduce the duration so the task ends sooner or do you want to increase the total work because the task requires more person hours so the duration will still be five days but you just have more work to do within five days or do you want to reduce the hours that the resource work per day so keep the duration the same just that they're going to be working less hours per day in any case the default I'm fine with by cutting the duration in half since I added an extra help uh, editor 2 on the task and I'm pretty satisfied with what I got here another thing I can do is let's say we don't need this task add images anymore that's four days if I go ahead and delete this and of course you can't delete a task by selecting it here just in the cell and hitting the delete key if you do that I mean it doesn't delete the task it's still there of course you get this little X and it says what are you trying to do click on the little smart tag drop down arrow and say delete the entire task or go ahead and hit undo here click on the row header for the task and then hit the delete key or you can right click on the row header and then come up here and delete the task in which case when it deletes the task it breaks the link so what we want to do is we want to say that this task here which is the proofread is now going to start as soon as its predecessor the right content is completed so how do we do it link them back up well you can do it one of two ways you can either come up here and select the task its predecessor hold down the control key and, and select its successor and make sure you do it in order don't come down here and go uh, let me select this first and then go up above and control click and select that because if you do you're linking from proofread when that's finished to go ahead and start writing the content and that doesn't work so we want it to go first write content control click down to proofread and then come up here on the standard toolbar and click on the link task button and we're good to go or you can hit undo double click on the successor proofread go to the predecessors tab and click in the task name click on the drop down arrow and who's going to be the predecessor that this successor is going to be linked to again it's going to be right content so you want to scroll down until you find it select it click OK and there you go you got it linked up again that's fantastic I mean if you look at the projects finish date now it went from October the 2nd to September the 30th so by eliminating some tasks along the critical path or adding some resources to a task to shorten that duration of the task you're also going to shorten the uh, finish date of the project because again that critical path it's like a domino effect you mess with one task it trickles all the way down to the project's finish date thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos